Hey, Missouri Nation, Jason here, fifth and final video in our Flight Maneuver series. Hope you've been really enjoying it. We're talking now about accelerated stalls, a commercial pilot maneuver. A commercial pilot maneuver, but I want you private pilots to see it. You can hurt yourself doing an accelerated stall. You can hurt the airplane doing accelerated stalls. Practice these with your instructor. You're not going to take this to a break. You're going to take it to the first sign of a stall, usually the warning horn. Here's how it works. Clearing turns are already done. You want to be at maneuvering speed or less, no flaps. I say it again, at maneuvering speed or less, no flaps. From there, you roll right into a steep turn, just like you normally would. 45 degrees of bank, we roll into that steep turn, and we gradually increase our bank. Pull back, pull back, pull back, feel the G-forces, feel the G-forces, pull back, pull back, pull back, stall warning horn, discontinue, push forward. That's an accelerated stall, or the brink of an accelerated stall. If I were to take that all the way, it's going to break and probably want to spin to the left and just continue that all the way around. Let me show you one more time. Less than maneuvering speed, life's looking good, clear left, turn to the left, start my steep turn, start my steep turn, smoothly but consistently pull back, don't yank it, just pull, keep adding pressure, keep adding pressure, keep adding pressure, stall warning horn, discontinue. Step, I got I to gotta step in there with my right foot in there as well. Accelerated stalls. Why do we do an accelerated stall? We do accelerated stalls to demonstrate to you that stalls don't just happen like straight ahead, hanging up by the warning horn, and they break. We stall at the same critical angle of attack every time. That can be met any number of ways, yet we get ingrained in our mind, oh, I just stall and I get slow and I pick my nose up too much. You can stall in a steep turn. I guarantee if you've been in a flight train long enough, you've done a steep turn where the stall warning horn went on, and the G's were putting you down in your seat and you felt like a blue angel. That's the brink of an accelerated stall. You discontinue your steep turn when that happens. Why do we teach accelerated stalls? Oftentimes, that base to final stall spin that you hear so much about, oftentimes, that could be an accelerated stall. It could happen during a steep turn. It could happen base to final. It could happen final approach fix inbound my instrument pilots. A lot of scenarios could be the ripe breeding grounds for an accelerated stall. I'll give you a different one. You could have an accelerated stall coming out of a very abrupt dive and picking up too abruptly. You could have an accelerated stall. That's more about the loading on the aircraft as well. Something else to always kind of uh, ponder and think about with that. Something else to always ponder and think about, no doubt. So, listen, M Zero Nation, I hope you loved this five-part flight maneuvers series. Uh, please be sure to uh, give it a share, give it a thumbs up uh, as well. Uh, like the whole playlist, we really appreciate that. Can't wait to read your comments below this video on YouTube, Facebook, M08.com. Have a blessed, amazing, outstanding rest of your day. And most importantly, remember, the good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you.